First up to bat, what do we got, Cud? Shuttle T. Shuttle T. She's been getting real dissed on all yeah. day. All day. <laughs> Shuttle T. Range hot. Against the Lumina. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna back up. Oh! It actually went in pretty good. <laughs> I almost hate always being right. It's it's frustrating. I'm not gonna lie to you. Did it go? All, it went all the way through. Boom! Shock and awe. <laughs> but it uh, it did push back the blades into. In. Wow. It, dude, what I'm blown away honestly is what the arrow did not do. Knock, knock didn't even come out. Knock didn't even come out. No cracks. The only thing is it pushed the blade. See, this is like another reason why I do not like replaceable blades. That's Let's explain what happened here. Yeah, so what happened is this this has got this had washers behind it. It broke the washers that held the blades in place and pushed the blades back. So you had a failure in the broad end. Like that's a failure in my opinion. No. So what do we got here? Kudu. Kudu. Let me just shoot. Oh, I was going to say, can I do two and one? No. Unless you can shoot within four seconds. You know what? That did, did a better. hell of a lot better than I thought it would. No, it stopped exactly at the point of where it's not feral. What do you feel? You're going to shoot those this year, right? I, I'm going to shoot them, yep. Uh, for me, they fly the best out of my bow. So I'm choosing accuracy over a couple other factors <laughs> with the kudus, but um, I'm shooting 60 pounds this year, so I gotta be precise. I gotta put that thing exactly where it goes, so. Good penetration though, I mean, it did pretty good. Came out through the back. Strickland's up to bat. Strickland's up to bat. Are you, what do you feel about this one? Is it gonna get do better than the Kudu or worse? Um, better. Two. Strickland's up. Let's see if we can beat the Kudus. Which did surprisingly well. Oh, not I so much. do not think so. Do not think so. Wow. Durability is good. I will sure. say that. But it did. Did it make it to the? Yeah, it made it to. Did you it? see all that? No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Oh, it made it to that bump. See, that's the thing that me and Garrett just talked about. Yeah, the ferrule design. It uh -huh. stopped. It's the a hair bump. Of this. Metal's yeah. not expanding for it. Yeah. But bone different. Uh -huh. I mean, well, you think it would the break? whole science behind the single bevel is that it cracks, right? Correct. So the ferrule theoretically helps. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. 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 Yep. My gut. This is going to have one of the best penetrations because the ferrule taper is uh, really sleek, lean. There's no hard stops, no hard bumps. So. I have a feeling this is going to be the best penetrating and rod this is? out of them. So, uh, cut through at 150. Wow, that was loud. Solid. That was loud. About the same. It made a pretty good sized wall. Yeah, it sure it, did. It made a, more of a hole per se. 
Yeah. And the thing about those, Just as far as thing about actual. those is they are also a lifetime warranty, correct? Yeah, I could probably send this back. So you get it send, yeah, you get it sent back, resharpen it, yeah. good to go. That's pretty impressive. It did good. Hunter, the edge retention. I mean, the edge is retention. It doesn't look all unbelievable. Up. All right. So, last but not least, Bone Zone. Trent's it's, favorite. If it does well, I'm not kidding. It's it's done. It's, it's excelled in all the tests. Well. 100%. Yes, the cutting diameter is a little smaller, so you got to take that into account. Here we go. Man, that's loud. Man. Because it's so wide, so quick, it doesn't penetrate through as much. Mm-hmm. Right? It's same deal. Oh, blade damage, though. Oh, On that yeah. one side, the blade's yeah. a little bit tarnished rolled it the kudus and the stricklands and the cutthroats didn't have that i was really pulling for it too Sneaks. really pulling for it other than that pretty straight yeah it didn't bend it and it hit it hard yeah it's actually, i'm gonna i'm gonna actually say this out of all the rest of them it's it got a wider cutting it, it diameter does for in comparison well it's very thick yeah it is thick. that's a lot wider cutting diameter than anything it out penetrated i mean just full expansion of true cutting diameter. true yeah. true i'm gonna try it the audible bud you right uh, I think I'm still sticking with the Muzzy Tro cars. I'm getting away from the Kudu just because I like to mix it up. So, and they're pretty soft head for me. I like to get a little bit harder head. So, guys, here's the. I guess something I wanted to say in this whole thing was one of our most most written emails is, "Oh, what kind of broadhead do you shoot? You know, what's the best broadhead?" And if you look at all of us in this group right here, we've hunted elk all our lives, all of us, and We've shot elk with all different kinds of broadheads, and it's still not one of us can say, okay, yeah, that's the best. In true what MythBusters fashion, right? We got to kill. We got to destroy something. So, what do we got? Center block against center block against the Strickland. Did not, did not see that coming, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> you lost your knock, but that is impressive. Oh. Uh oh. Did that same thing happen? I think it broke the arrow. It did break the ferrule of the arrow, but it, the, it bent. It kept its composure, I'll give it that. It bent the outsert. Mm. Wow. So this is a this is a sleeve. There's a pin down in that shaft. And sleeved outsert over the top. So, in the fashion of uh, elk, the killing tip was still together. So, that's pretty good. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, we better stand back. It, uh, so it broke. Where the set screw comes across is where that broke. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Right. Yep. There. Still, that's pretty impressive. I mean, basically. Very impressive. Held together at that point, so. Wow. All right. You said you're going to shoot the troll car. Are we <laughs> <laughs> Throw them down range at the center Okay, block. I started off as a troll car lover, and now I'm <laughs> quickly switching away from it. <laughs> Team troll car? Yeah. Come on now. Oh, man. This is why you test. That's exactly right. Rock and roll. What do you got? I got a uh, troll car on the center block, and this is a different troll car than what we just shot in the sheet, so we're using a brand new one. So 
So we're Let's using, we're giving all the chance in the world to perform right here. Yep, Garrett's team trail car. We're gonna see if he's still team trail car after this. No, I'm not team trail car. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't even sound strong. <laughs> it did not. Oh, and it finally pushed through my footer, but it took about three shots into, me, into steel and then a cinder block. Whew. A lot going on there. But bro. I would say, honestly, that could very well be because of the blades protruding past the ferrule and having that collar on there. That could have wedged totally. the arrow apart. Yep. And that actually kind of looks what happened there. You can see the biggest cracks right there. So. I yeah I've seen that on on heads before where the ferrules not square flush to the end of the arrow where it's mm -hmm. kind of tapered it'll just banana peel your arrow I've seen that before but never on the higher end trail cars so that is officially a no go on the trail cars oh yeah. wow officially what's what's next on your list then um the freaking bones man oh <laughs> i don't know we got two people on the bone team. i was gonna get away from the single bevel but they're they're performing quite well all right code hang on let me let me get yeah. this slow-mo ready here comes bone zone into the center block <laughs> you got like a minute okay bone uh, zone bone broadheads back up to it back up to bat expecting great things here <laughs> Is this the same one we've been using? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. And you shot into the solid part, Cody. You did, actually, yeah. I tried going below that. You might wow. slightly be below it, but... Barrel's still straight. Yeah. Scrape it off, and what do you got? It's definitely mangled, but one piece. You can even see the twist of that, though. When it hit. Dude. Oh, it twisted itself. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And the arrow's still intact, too. Yeah. I'm yeah. out with that arrow this year. Next up. Kudu Contour 125s. Cinder block test. Whoa. Watch yourself. Holy smokes. It's gone. Oh, it's in the uh, cinder block. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Kudu Nation. I hate to pee on your parade, but. Oh, it did bend. It did bend. I've experienced this two other times with the Kudu shooting. I've hunted with Kudus for five years now. Shot a couple bulls with them and um, never in an animal, but two by four. Just whoop. Yeah. Not what a guy's looking for. No, I've, I, I shoot Kudus too, and I'm shooting them this year, but. I will say that the negative is the the, the point strength. Yeah, from tip feral, strength. feral to the tip. Correct. Where the Stricklands didn't do it. No. 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 Stricklands no, didn't. The Stricklands didn't do it. That's, so it broke. The Strickland did break. Yeah. Hmm. But you've got three guys here that I've killed stuff with. But and you've used them tons. Hold on, hold on. We shot that into aluminum first. That's true. So I don't know if that's super fair. We this one was well, right no, out of the package. Well, no, that is because the uh, bone was shot through over and over and over. Yes, again. it was. But, yes, yes, but that one was shot to aluminum first. So I don't know if it's a direct comparison. Oh, to, if you're, yeah, if you're to one that hadn't been shot into aluminum first. Right. Correct. Apples, apples and oranges. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. I don't like. I still wish. <laughs> I still wish my kudu like would have held up. Still wish my kudu would have held up. You should. You could come over to Team Bone. <laughs> the Bone Zone? The Bone Zone. 
Yeah, we're always accepting members. <laughs> 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 Might be uh, making from. I just bought. I don't even want to tell you how much money in broadheads. Well, there was, yeah, two hundred and forty dollars for a dozen Stricklands that I bought. Ouch. Yeah. So just like forewarning, unbiased. We bought all these broadheads. Like, yes, this we're, is we're not yeah, sponsored, not by, sponsored any. by anybody. Yes. We're just doing this to figure out what. What makes a broadhead? This one penetrated the best. Uh, deflection was great. Great. We shot this twice to even, and it actually, one of those times hit level where we thought was the most deflection opportunity. And then destruction-wise, did great in the aluminum and did the best in cinder block. So negative, negative uh, of it. Negative uh, is the cutting diameter. Cutting diameter. Yeah. I don't like. I think it's right at an inch. It's at and, an I inch. Would, and I'd like an inch and three sixteenths. So, um, yeah, not your typical like traditional. You know, it's three inches long, one inch cutting diameter. This is a really short head, but it's super tough. I'm pretty jacked about it. It was a fun day of shooting stuff with bows. I Garrett, thank you for coming out yeah, with us, thanks man. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you. It was good to see you. It was and, awesome. Uh, it was awesome. We're going to link Garrett's stuff in the in the description below, guys. Do us a Go favor. Go check him out. Bureau Nation. Go check yeah. out On Point. He's got a podcast called On Point with Garrett Weaver. He's got a YouTube channel. Like the cool thing about Garrett, like we we just we're definitely not the most technical side of it. Garrett knows his stuff inside and out and is a kind of a gadget guru, right? I Someone would a nerd. Say I, yeah. I, I geek out in it quite a yeah. bit, but I mean, this is this is this is how we learn, guys. So it's not like we're going out here and just doing it on paper. We're going out here, we're testing it, we're doing all the right things, trying to figure out what it takes to actually get a good broadhead, and we have a clear winner. And I wasn't, I never even heard of this head until we started today. So um, you know, they're, they, I got moved from a troll car. I found the weak spot in the troll car easy, and we found a really solid broadhead right here. So. Um, unbiased, not being paid either for any of this, and uh, that's what these tests are for. When you come out with a conclusion that you weren't expecting to get, you know you did your job right. Yep, 100%. So do us a favor, go over there, hit that subscribe button, share this. If, if this was interesting to you and you want your buddy to learn more about broadheads, share it with him. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next one.